Victor Cho is a visual artist and muralist whose work is shown throughout the world. He was one of the original painters at Chicano Park. Victor started to draw and paint at a very young age. His mother noticed his talent right from the beginning. She noticed me around five years old when, when she gave me a bunch of uh, crayons and, and I remember it was the, the neighborhood kids and everything that we were sitting like in a big patio table and she, she remembers that the rest of the kids were just doing these, these real basic stick figures and stuff and it, she saw me uh, that I put this character, I put a hat on them and uh, hands she thought that were pretty complicated because nobody was drawing hands and mine had a cigarette in his hand. Victor's parents were living in the United States as undocumented workers and the family was eventually sent back to Mexico. Victor remembers having a hard time adjusting to life in Tijuana because he did not speak Spanish. I remember that, that it started something really terrible because the kids were calling me gringo, gringo patas saladas, and I really get ticked off of, of that and, and upset and uh, yes, I couldn't communicate with them. Those seemed like several months, but I, I was surprised at how quick both of my sister and I learn to speak Spanish because we got to go back to school. Victor always loved school and decided to return to the U.S. to continue his education. He came alone since his family was not legally allowed to be in the country. To support himself, he started working and lived with relatives in L.A. My dad um, always made me work and, and to value money and that since, uh, since around four years old I would be selling melons and or eggs or something door to door or whatever. And I actually started working uh, part-time in high school, in ninth grade, because my parents were still that, uh, and I I always supported myself since since 15, 16 on my own, pretty much on my own. I had my own apartment and I actually put my, my sister to high school. Victor completed his education and became a respected technical artist. He became involved in the Chicano movement when he started making posters for events and demonstrations. This work led him to his involvement in painting murals in Chicano Park. When I did that, my first mural, that was almost a, a magical experience to me because um, I knew right then and there that, that that's what I want to do. And when it, whenever we did anything, it always had something to do with our roots as well as our history and the whole thing and not, not just the Spanish history. Most people don't even know what their pre-Columbian heritage is. Over the past 30 years, Victor continued to paint murals about the issues that concern him. His work spread from San Diego and gained him national recognition. To create a mural, there's, you know, the materials part of it is something pretty important. But I think to me, the most important is to have the concept or the theme of the mural together. If you know what you want to say, if you know what you want to project out into the community, because murals are something that a lot of people, thousands of people will be able to see. It's not like a art piece that's in a gallery that only some elite few will, will see. Uh, murals are public art. I normally work in this kind of collaborative, democratic Chicano dynamics of mural painting, which means that I include a team of people where the mural is at. I always try to recruit a uh, team of people that live in that particular community, you know, that will be part of that. Artwork is partially work. For me, and for almost all the artists, there's work involved. So, to me as a Chicano mural painter, the, the inspiration is that I, I have something to say. I, will, I have the need to say things, and they're usually based on issues that are happening in my community, it becomes a part of the solution of some of the, of some of the problems and issues that we have in the community. So it's, some people see that as a weapon to the solution, it could be a tool, it could be it just part of a solution. Through his participation in the arts of the Chicano movement, Victor Ochoa became emotionally involved with the issues concerning his community. The main instigator for me to do a mural was issues issues that were going on in my community and and, and it's weird because it, after 30 some years of painting murals there's still the same issues you know it may be more subtle in some ways I think society has gotten tricky bilingual education is still screwed up now 
immigration, it, it seemed like every decade we have like a major, uh, what do you call it, uh, chaos of, of, of at the border. Uh, police brutality is still going on. Racism is still going on. Things, uh, you know, learning about your own heritage or your own history um, is pretty zero. You can look at any high school book, and especially in California, and f see see what you find about Chicanos or Mexicans, you know? Victor wanted his own kids to have an experience of going to school in Mexico and learning their own roots. He owns a home in Tijuana, and for a time, his children live there. Through his kids' experience, he saw the cultural divide that comes from living on an international border. A lot of times, we just assume things are okay and are better, but there's like a, a, almost an invisible oppression going on that, that uh, you know, if you're not really sharp with it, you, you can't really tell. Your own kid is telling you that even after he would eat whole bowls of frijoles de la olla like me without a spoon, you know, all of a sudden says he doesn't like beans anymore. I don't know, man. It's um, To me, uh, there's this force of Americanization that, that I think uh, has been practiced for for decades. And, and um, I'm currently doing a piece called 1848 because I think as a Chicano, you know, I think that um, that manifest destiny is still over us and the fact that, you know, speaking Spanish is not like the coolest thing to do, you know. In fact, if you have a Spanish accent, you're, you're a negatively uh, stereotyped. Victor continues his involvement by teaching college classes and working with young people. He uses art to get involved in their community and make a difference in the world. Art is, is an educational tool. It's a tool that means a lot of different things. I mean, it, it, it can be an awareness tool. I think, it, to me, art is, can be part of the solution. And I see art as being more difficult to control through curriculum, and that it's more self-expression, and that that would be uh, something more developmental for the person to, to really exercise, you know, because I see art making as being like weightlifting. It's, it's an a, a exercise and it makes you powerful and stronger as an individual. And in that way, it makes you uh, a stronger person for the future, for your own development. So to me, I would hope that people realize that importance and that possibly when they think of Chicano art, they see that we were preoccupied in, in uh, it, you know, doing that and practicing that in the community. Mm -hmm.